Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you will learn how to create 3D grid floor in PowerPoint. In an earlier tutorial, we have learnt how to create floor in PowerPoint. This time, we are going to create 3D grid floor. Take a look at this 3D object. Because of this beautiful shadow, you are able to visualize that the 3D object is resting on the floor. However, if you had a floor that looks as beautiful as this, imagine the kind of impact you will create on your audience. How do you create this fabulous floor? Let us see how to do that from scratch. So I have gone to a new slide. The way to create a new slide is to press Ctrl M or you can always insert new slide here. So those are the ways in which you can insert a new slide. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a grid using squares. So first let us go to auto shapes menu and under rectangles pick up this basic rectangle and let us draw a rectangle here. Now press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Now select both of them and press Ctrl D again. Now select both of them again and press Ctrl D. So all we are trying to do is to create as many of these uh, rectangles as possible. If you are happy with the number of rectangles, it's good enough. Otherwise, maybe we can add one more. Maybe you can even make it a little closer and select them all together and distribute horizontally. So for which arrange, align and distribute horizontally. And you can also arrange align align top and there we are now we have created one row let us press ctrl G to group it now let us press ctrl D three times so that we can have three such uh, rows maybe I can have it here and now I'm going to select all of them this time let me go to arrange align and align center and arrange align and distribute vertically this time and there we are our matrix is ready now with this done let us press ctrl G to group all of them together the next step is to give it a 3d perspective for which let me go to right click format shape and under effects option I am going to choose 3d rotation and the option the preset that I am going to do select is under perspective and it is called as perspective relaxed so click on it maybe you can have it a little more slanted by pressing this one which is the Y rotation and it is called as down and click it a couple of times to give it the kind of slant that you require if you want you can have it a little more as well now I'm going to increase the perspective which gives it that uh, surreal effect so let me increase sorry let, let me uh, click on this one called as widen field of view under perspective and as you click just keep clicking till the time you cannot get any more I think the maximum limit is 120 degrees and there we stop I want this portion to match the width of the slide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the left and I'm going to drag this to the right really even a little more maybe and let us see if it covers the slide end to end not really maybe I can have it a little more and this is pretty much yeah this is the kind of effect I really require and now if you see this looks quite unwieldy we don't require all this extra portion that seems to bleed beyond the slide uh, page so what I'm going to do is to cut these ones off but you cannot cut if it is uh, a group of auto shapes so the simple way to do this is right click cut this and go to paste special and we are going to paste this back as PNG so click OK there is a simple way to do this that is if you do it cut and if you paste this way picture you can achieve the same effect as well now this is done let us try and see the whole thing uh, a little little better so I am going to zoom out by clicking here now uh, this is a pretty beautiful view now let me go to crop you will find the crop in format and crop and let me crop this till this edge 
and let me crop this one till this edge and there I am quite happy now make this correspond with the bottom edge and get it back to the normal view and there we are you can change the color before you do this or after you got this uh, as a picture you can always go to color and make it in this color otherwise if you want to add some artistic effect you can do that take a look at this one which looks very beautiful and maybe this one this looks very beautiful because of this nice texture and there I'm happy with it let us go back and pick this uh, 3d object which I had done earlier and paste it here and there we have a beautiful 3d object resting on a fantastic floor so that is how you create this grid floor effect in PowerPoint let me show you some applications of this grid floor taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs and this is the first example as you can see here we have done this beautiful grid floor with a bit of a bevel here and we have used rounded rectangle to create this and we have given a nice background also and we have created this uh, graph which is more of a conceptual graph and we have the text that explains the details in the graph now this is another example template where we have talked about editable charts once more and once again you have the text that explains the growth or the factors that contribute to the strategic growth and things like that let me show you another example template taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs here we can see the grid floor created using just a matrix or a grid created only with lines and uh, here we are talking about racing ahead of the rest this again is an editable chart and you can have these beautiful uh, silhouettes that add more meaning to the, the slide and here you have an option to write your text so these are some of the ways in which you can use your 3d grid floor so if you had seen our earlier tutorial you would have seen how to create simple floors and this tutorial teaches you how to create the 3d grid floor if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you like the tutorial on creating 3D grid floor in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos, and some useful information to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.